What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm hanging in there. Done driving. You, you, you can't possibly be done driving, bro. All right. After that shit, no, I'm done. Oh man, we 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 gotta get we we gotta get into this very quick, man. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a. I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. <laughs> Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. And <laughs> thing sucks. In five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we do it over here in Lockout Man Podcast. We doing it live. That's what's up. Thanks, Bill O'Reilly, for one of the funniest outtakes that <laughs> that anybody can ever see, man. Gave us one of the funniest outtakes, man. Well, what's going on, everybody? Lockout Men over here chilling back again with another podcast interview for you guys today. And this young man. He's a friend of the show. He been on several times, talked with me several times, gave me a little bit of insight on uh, on said company. But this time he's back again, and um, and yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to say it's a sad day or anything like that, but um, he don't think it's a sad day. He he don't think it's a sad day. Me. I just think how they how this company has flip flop with this young man and and then just just drop the ball. But we're gonna bring him in. We're gonna bring him in to talk about it once again. Hold on, real quick. I got to set everything up. So once again, I want to bring to the show my man Brett Stretch. Is it is it Brett or Brent? Uh, Brent. Brent. Okay. I, I keep calling you Brett. I, I don't know why, but. I get it all the time, so don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah, yeah. But your last name, though, is that your real last name, or is that just the name you just came up with and you just ran with it? That's the name I came up with and ran with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought, man. I'm like, no, Stretch. Stretch Armstrong, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know, man. What, what's what's good with you? What's good with you, bro? Welcome back to the show, man. What's going on? Just chilling at the house. All right. So I came across. I, I I came across your uh your your post because you know you're heavy in Facebook, and of course we follow each other in Facebook. But uh, the first the first time you quit, okay. And then I guess you got a call back from the company. They must have offered you a little bit more or enticed you to come back because you went back to said company. And then, yes. and then now only a couple of months later, you got let go from said company. So, correct. So let's, let's go back to the beginning. Well, let's, Let's remind the LOM community and the viewers and the listeners where what company are we talking about and how long give us a little bit of backstory, Brent. All right, well, it was Jane R. Sherville. I was there a total of probably two and a half, three years. Mm -hmm. um, I left because I thought the grass was green on the other side and Apparently it it wasn't. They what, called. Wait, me wait, 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 wait. You 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 going a little bit far now? You going too fast? Going too fast? Let's <laughs> slow it down a little bit. So you okay? So you you been with J and R for for well off and on for about three years, Correct. right? Correct. All right. So what was the experience with J and R before you before you left the first time? What was what was the it experience like? It wasn't bad. The reason I left because well, I was having breakdown issues, but overall, it was great. They always treated you well and everything. Okay, okay, okay. So they 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 treated you well. Obviously, they did because you know you came on the show the first time and 
You know, they they gave you some accolades. They gave you some attaboys. They gave you a, a reward. They profiled you on their uh, on their website. I don't even know if they're still doing that, but they profiled you on their I website. Uh, I think the pictures that you that 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 uh, that you took was from Tony, right? Tony took the pictures of you in front of the truck for the spotlight. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. yeah. Tony did my uh, Tony did my photo shoot. So definitely shout out to Tony. Um, and if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, Tony Huglet, I think that's his last name. He's, uh, I think so. he's like their social media, social media guy, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, a lot of trucking companies now need some type of social media presence. And Tony Huglet was that guy. Technically, I was supposed to work with him as far as getting the uh, you know JNR Schwugel socialified, I guess, if that's a word, but fortunately it never came to pass. But um uh, but yeah, shout out to him uh for for trying to get JNR Schwugel out of the dark ages and into the modern times. Um so he did the photo shoot for you. He did the spotlight for you and they, you know, in their little magazine, Facebook, all that good shit. Uh but everything was going good for you for yeah. a while. Where oh, did yeah. it, it was. Where did the breakdown started to started to come into play? Uh it happened right before I left, which was well, a few months ago. Oh, then I came back. But anyways, it was a computer issue. They I pretty much was down for four and a half days. Never got no breakdown pay. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. I pretty much had to pay for my own hotel because they didn't want to do it. And Night Dispatch didn't really care. I always had a problem with Night Dispatch, which nothing company really Night Dispatches. Now you you talking about not now you talking about the day dispatchers because the night dispatchers really can't do shit. As far as right, and that's when a lot of the time, and that's when the breakdown happened. It was at nighttime. Well, okay, now they should now they should have been able to. Well, that's the whole point of them being there because they can't they can't dispatch you on a load or anything like that. But if you're broke down or need roadside assistance or anything like that, yeah, this night dispatch supposed to supposed to been the one to help you out if it was at night. What what happened? What was right? What was the breakdown amongst the breakdown? Uh, well, the breakdown that happened was I was in Virginia, I believe. I just finished my 10, took off. It was like 11, 12 o'clock at night. So I make this load on time and everything. I made it eight miles up the road and the dashboard did up like a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And so I pulled off the side road, took them out. Oh, I called them. It was probably about, oh, twelve thirty one o'clock-ish. And I didn't get towed to, I didn't get to a shop by the time they got a wrecker and everything out to me. It was probably close to six thirty seven o'clock in the morning. And the shop they towed it to had no idea what was coming. So they couldn't get in for like four days. And then, so I, they were, went to try to get me to go recover a truck. That I had no keys for because it was for KW and I had international. How how can you recover a truck and without keys? Oh wait, my wait. All right, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, if you're already on because a because I I had international keys. If it oh was international, yeah, international no it would have fit the it it would fit in international. I got you, I got you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, but it was a KW with a Kenworth, so I didn't have Kenworth keys. So they have they set me up to go to this. Kenworth dealership to offer use the key code to get a key made up in Pennsylvania. So they rented me a car, went up there, and all I could get was a blank key. They couldn't cut it by the key code. They need another key to cut it off of it. I'm like, well, that's not going to do any good then. Okay. So I called Night Dispatch again. And they're like, well, um, we can probably try to get the driver to meet you up in Manhattan, New York, mind you, mm -hmm. to, um, to give you the keys because he quit and everything to get this truck. I said, Manhattan, by the time you get there, it's going to be 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going up there that late at night. And for one, I'm not going to be forced to go up there. They should have told me that from the get-go. Mm -hmm. So 
night dispatch um, person, which I'm not going to mention names because I don't want to put their name out there. I don't even know if they work there anymore. But anyways, told me this I can go back to where my truck was mm-hmm. and just wait there until it's fixed. So that's what I did. And then I had to take the rental car back. Went to take the rental car back. Went to call. It was a weekend, so I tried to call the night weekend dispatch to get a taxi ride from the rental car back to the truck or to a hotel or whatnot. And pretty much this person told me that I can pretty much walk. He don't care. So. Okay. I ended up walking four and a half miles in 95 degree weather. Mm -hmm. Got back to the truck and everything. And it was hot. I wanted a shower and all that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pay for an Uber and go to a hotel room and pay for myself, which that's what I did and everything. And then never got reimbursed for any of that. They didn't care. So that's why after the truck was fixed, and uh, I'll back up with one step. And then on Monday, I called the truck to see any update on the truck or when they're going to get into the shop because that way I would know. And they didn't have any idea. I called breakdown during the day and explained the situation. They ended up towing it to a different shop and they got right in, started fixing it, and it was done on Tuesday so it was only an extra day so I um, so that's what they ended up doing so I paid for the hotel room they went pay back got the truck back after the truck was fixed and everything I went I said I'm just done I drove from Roanoke Virginia all the way to Columbus Ohio empty to turn the truck in so that went to another company and it didn't work out there Plus, Shrugal called me back and asked if I would come back with, they gave me a better truck. They gave me, I got an extra penny raise. So I came back. Everything was going great. Then I did Reaper. Then I went back to drive because I started parking by my house. And because where I was parking, I was doing 300 miles empty round trip every time I went home. So and driving would have been less empty miles. So I was saving the company money. All right, so you uh, then, so so you was reefer, but uh, but yeah. unfortunately, reefer wasn't wasn't doing anything for you. So you went dry van, and correct you you did you you did dry van for for a while, but oh yeah, I love driving, but but what happened? That forced you. What that that forced that that forced you to leave the first time. Was it because you wasn't getting no more miles? You were still feeling jaded because of the, the whole because of the whole uh, the whole thing or what break breakdown issue. Yeah, the breakdown issue and the way that they pretty much treated me made me walk and didn't care about walking four and a half miles, ninety five degree weather. I had paid for the hotel and everything, which. It's break down being a company driver. That should not be my responsibility. Right. I mean, the truck broke down. It should have been their responsibility to I, get you an Uber to the hotel right. and their responsibility to get you a hotel for the night. I mean, yeah. The, and I, I you you I left breakdowns happen. Right. But you you left the truck at International, right? At first, it was towed to some off the wall shop. Okay. And the guy even told me, and I and I I don't remember what shop it was. To be honest, it was some Lawrence truck repair or whatever. But anyways, and that mechanic said they won't go get to it till probably Monday. And everything he said, there's the international dealership, literally maybe a half mile up the road, mm-hmm. and everything. So, and I told them about that, and so that way they should just they should just have. Got another tow truck out there and had it towed from there up to that international dealership. And all of that issue could have been resolved right then and there. Hmm. If they would have just towed it to an international dealership from the get-go. It was a 2020 truck. It should have went to an international dealership anyway because it was under warranty. Mm-hmm. Okay. And okay. they didn't do that. Okay. So four, so four miles to the nearest hotel pay for a hotel they call you or tell you that the truck is fits did they get you to the truck 
or did you have to take an Uber back to the truck or did you pay for out of your pocket to get back to the truck? Uh, because when they ended up towing it close and it was like literally half mile from where the, uh, where it was to where, um, where my where the hotel room is that I paid for. Okay. So I just walked. So let me ask you this. Just because I wasn't trying to deal with the extra BS. So let me ask you this. At that point. Night dispatch pretty much fucked you, but did you go all of, did you go all that all that over with the the day dispatcher? Did they did they confiscate you? Did they even say, yo, we apologize? What better yet? What did night dispatch inspected you to do? They they inspected you to stay in the truck. That's why they didn't. Yeah, they that's why they didn't it. cover for. That's why they didn't cover for the uh, extra expenses. Yeah, because the, the APU still work and all that. And like I told them, I said, "How am I going to stay in a truck? There is this place is locked up. There's fences, so I can't really. There's no restroom." There's no showers. There's no food accessibility besides trying to walk all the way up the hill every time. There's, there's if I want to order pizza or something, I don't carry that much food on a truck at that given time. Anyway, because it's getting close to being going home because I was running low. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they, that, that's pretty much why they said that they weren't paying for it because I pretty much was not willing to stay in the truck of all weekend like that. Oh, that's bullshit. If there was food and showers and restrooms, I would have had no problem with it. Okay. And that's why I told him. And then I talked to my day, my, my normal dispatch over the situation. And he did say, oh, I'm sorry, but, there's, but it's out of my hand. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, so that's pretty much what happened with that situation. That's That's bullshit. I mean, that's that that was bullshit right there, man. I mean, they uh they 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 over here talking about that you could have. I guess they talking about that you could have could have stayed in the truck. But I mean, you you in the middle right. of nowhere with no facilities, nowhere to eat, and just because the truck was outside and it had the APU and yada yada yada, but you were still in a place with nowhere to eat. Nowhere to get a shower, nowhere to use the bathroom, and they and they they refused that because the truck APU was was still working, sort of say. Yeah, it's like I I couldn't sit there like that for four. It'll, by the time it'll be they would even pour it in the shop would have been like four days. So, you know what what do J and R say when 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 drivers come and and look for uh, a company to work for. They say that they that they're a truckload company uh, for drivers. You know, they say right, they they family oriented. They, they, they family oriented, and they care about about their drivers. You know, and even even if you you call them up. And you talk to them, you know, you talk to the recruiter over the phone. They pretty much tell you the same soap box, too. You know, we're family oriented. We oh, yeah. care about our drivers. Our drivers is number one. And yada, 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 this, that, and the third. But they treated this man, you know what I'm saying? They they treated this man with the, they gave him the accolades. They gave him the you know, the one and the two year, you know, awards and all like that. And I know some of you guys probably might say in the comments, well, it, it, that was only the first thing, you know, why he got jaded like that. But you got to understand something. I mean, you know, this man walked four miles. I mean, you know, probably might not be no big deal for some of you guys. But if a trucking company says that they that says that they're for the driver, then he shouldn't have had to walk four miles and pay for a hotel uh, so that he can have somewhere safe to be and, and, and food and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, 
so yeah, I, I would kind of feel jaded too. I mean, after a company would tell me, hey, we're this, we're family oriented and all, yada, 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 yada. And then they do this to them. Then yeah, yeah, I, I, I will feel some kind of way too. So that was, so you decide to hang up the keys. You took the truck back to where Columbus or what well, I'm assuming you took it back to Columbus. Yeah, Columbus yeah. Yard. So you took it back to Columbus, yeah. uh, dropped the keys off and uh, said, sire nada. You decided to go with another trucking company. What happened there? Well, pretty much he wanted me to run, run nights, which I don't really care to run nights, but that wasn't the issue. Mm -hmm. The issue was he wanted me to run nights with multiple DOT uh, violations. Tires were probably as smooth as a baby bottom. He wanted me to run with burned out headlight all night and everything. And they go, oh, I was on TA paper. Oh, no, it's because we were on a UPS account. Mm -hmm. So me and him ran together. So it's like, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. So then he, then I got down there to, um, took it from Rexville, Ohio, I believe, down to Nashville, Tennessee. No big deal. Then he wanted me to, he said, I got the bobtail back. He's like, well, you need this uh, PC from Nashville all the way back home and then and then we'll uh, come back out later on the next day. I'm like, okay, when are you going to fix the truck? When are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll do that this weekend. I'm like, I can't run DOT violations all week knowing at any given point that DOT officer is going to snatch me up and then it's going to be on my license. Hmm. And then Trugo ended up calling me that, 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 like a couple of days later before I even let him. I was still there after that first trip and everything. I'm like, and they offered me that more money. So that's why I just left and went back to true. All right. So I, at this point, I wish I never would have. All right. So, you know, you, the, 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 the company that you was working for sound like a, a owner operator type deal. Um, right. Yes, it was. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm. Yeah, he had a total of like three trucks. All right. So I'm assuming you and him was like friends at first. And then you went to drive for him, or this I used is just to work something... for before. Before I went to Shrugo two and a half, two two and a half, three years ago, mm -hmm. I worked for his brother. Oh, okay, okay. So that's how I knew him. Okay. And this ironic thing, when I was broke down in that hotel, he actually got texted me and asked if I knew any drivers, and then I asked him what was what was going on, what was paying everything, and that's why I decided. I said, "Hey, I'll do it." Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so. Obviously, so the, the timing was right. The timing was right, but the the marriage was wrong, pretty much, right? Correct. All right, so back to back to J and R. Uh, they you you said in the post that they they called you back. You you didn't call them back. Correct. So they called you. Yeah, they called me. They called you back. Considering that you, you know, you you was one of the good one of their good drivers, and I'm assuming they didn't want to lose you at that time, so they called you back and Correct. and what they offered, what, what was what was what was what was their their pitch to you to get you to come back, it, and don't say it's because they, they of, keep... don't say it's because of the trucks because they they got newer trucks, but what was what was the what was they told me that. Which a lot of it was like they told me that they would give me a, a, a more money per mile than what I was making. They would make sure I wouldn't get an international again because I told them I was burned out on those internationals. I don't care for them, just personal preference. Um, and now I won't have to worry about something like that happened, and they would reimburse me for that hotel and everything after the fact. I'm like, okay. The only thing that was true, they gave me the rate. That was it, right. and the camera. All right, but so they the, gave you a so they gave you a brand never got it. They they gave you a brand new Kenworth, and they gave you well, it wasn't brand new, it was a nineteen. Oh, nineteen. Okay, they gave you a nineteen Kenworth, and they gave you a raise. How, if, if you don't mind, if you you know you you're not working there no more, but what was you making prior without that? Um, what's that that? That that tier system that they got, P three, yeah, that P three bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What without that P three bullshit? How much you was making base 
and how much they offered they offer you to make when you came back. Base, I was at before I was at forty seven, and then I went to forty nine. All right, so they gave so they technically gave you a two cent raise. Correct. All right, so they gave you a two cent raise, and then if you want to incorporate the P three bullshit. So you was making somewhere around the ballpark of 55, 56 cent, right? Correct. Okay, okay. Not bad. Not bad, but again, I'm not a fan of that P3 bullshit because if you don't, let me see. Me if if you don't get let me see, is 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 the the camera um uh, it's it's a lot of sh it's it's a lot of fucking hoops to get it. So to get the full five, you had to have uh, you had to get so much per mile right. of fuel mileage. You had to do at least nine thousand some miles of utilization, no mm -hmm. third failures, mm -hmm. and no safety infraction, which would be like the camera any type of accident camera mm -hmm. or something like that. Okay, okay. I rarely ever got the full five. I got you know what? Rarely. To be honest with you, I got the five. Since I, I got the since they changed it over, I got I got the full five twice. Usually I would get uh, usually my standard would be four because of the fucking camera. Um, you know I you know yeah the, mine the, was the camera the camera would go because I oh go ahead I could never get the fuel mileage. Oh, okay. uh, the can work won't get the fuel mileage like the international will. Yeah, so I got the I got the uh I I got the full four except for the camera. I never I the, the camera will always go off if you hit a hit a chuck hole or or speed or whatever the case. There's no preventing it. There's there's no preventing the camera from uh going off. And when it goes off, yeah, yeah. There there it goes out out the window. All right, so back there, got the rays. Driving, chilling, back doing what? Reefer or driving? I was doing reefer, and then I just switched back to dry. Last, well, it would have been uh, probably would have made two weeks. Okay, okay, all right. So back to doing driving, chilling, driving. What happened, bro? I mean, you right, you well, was JNR Schwugel's ambassador. What the fuck, man? This is what happened: is another driver got mad at me and started writing his mouth about me. And I confront. I said something to him. Then and then HR got involved because he called HR, which whatever. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where informed. where was the confrontation? It was on one, it was, he had texted my phone. It was between that, he Facebook uh, messaged me, and it was a message in uh, one of the Jane Arturo, uh driver's group. Okay, but, but wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Was was you guys like, like driver buddies or some shit like that for you to even give him your phone number? Oh, uh, me and him used to talk every day. Okay. Like we were good, used to be good friends. Okay. Now, wait. Now, y'all just met each other as driving buddies. Y'all y'all didn't have nothing to do with each other before Jay and R. Shrugel. Um, right, yeah. I met him in uh, Minnesota because that's where he lived. Okay. I lived in Ohio. We were just talking one day, and that's how we got. Uh, because he had a question about the newer Qualcomm. Okay. So I was trying to help him out one day. Okay, so. And that's how we got each other's oh, phone number. Oh, okay. And the relation the relation there got uh, got a little tight, got a little better. Y'all chopped it up and all like that. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, where, where, where did the relationship started to go sour? Because, okay. Me and him used to be the admins to one of the driver's pages. And then I took myself out of the admin because I didn't want the extra... Extra work. Focus, pretty much. The, was that the, dry, was yeah, that the so, JNR Shrugel page or is this something else? It's another JNR Shrugel, but it's uh, 
current drivers only page. Oh, current driver. Okay, because I used to be in a JNR drivers group, but yeah, I, the one the one with Brian Canada. Yeah, Brian Canada. Yeah, bud. Yeah, not a fan. Yeah, there was a there's a not there's another one. Yeah, not it, not a fan. As a matter of fact, it, go ahead, go ahead. There's another one that got made that was because you there was multiple people having problems with him because he wasn't because of just the way he is. Yeah, an asshole. So we, I, we, I said it. I said it. I try, wanted to say it. Try try and call <laughs> but, JNR Schwugel uh uh HR on me, bruh. I said it. You're an asshole. Period. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? You over here, you you know. Of, yeah, of well, course, I ne Of course, I stopped working for J and R Schwugel, but yeah, I was still in the group. I was still in the group. Yeah, I kind of, right. I kind of had my little, my little swagger because, like I said, you know, the company I was working for was a hell of a lot better than what I was getting or doing over at J and R Schwugel. Yeah, I guess I came over and 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 bragged a little bit about it, you know, doing. You know, doing seventy five and could hit all of the uh, hit all of the uh, all toes. uh toes. Never had no problems going down to going up and down 30, 35, 40 and all like that. No problem going across Ohio, Indiana. No problem going across the Chicago Skyway. Right. No problem, but. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I kind of bragged about that a little bit. But when people who truly asked was asking me questions about the company, I was there really. You know, I was really giving my honest opinion. And I never, if I, if I don't, if I'm not too mistaken, I never badmouthed the company inside the group. I never did that. No, I don't. I never, never recall you ever doing that before. I took myself. Well, I got kicked out of that group too. Yeah. So Brian Canada, I said it. Fucking asshole. But anyway, uh. Yeah, he he kicked me out too. Okay. So all right. So you, you and the guy back and forth, and it 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 escalated from yeah. just from testing to Facebook. Yeah. Now, see, that's what I hate. I hate that too, but it escalated yeah, to because, Facebook. Uh, what, what happened with with this Facebook bullshit? Well, there was a the group is supposed to, is and the rules and everything says current drivers only. Only current drivers will be allowed in the group. Right. Fine, dandy. I was I was still a driver at the time, but this is he made a new admin of of somebody, and it was nothing personal against this person mm -hmm. that. Has, that does no longer work for the company. Mm -hmm. And I have said something. I said, since when are we having admins that don't work for the company anymore in a current driver's group? Right. That's all I said. Just asking simple questions. Yep, right. And, that, then, and that's a valid question. Yeah. If you don't work for the company, why are you in the... And that's the same thing that Brian Canada, Canada asked me, but, you know, that was a different group. But if you're not, if you're not driving for the company, why, why are you still in the group? I guess. And that's a valid question. Right. So, and then he got it escalated from there. He pretty much was going around saying, I don't know what the F I'm talking about. I don't know anything about the company or anything like that. And I just like, all right, whatever. Wait. So I just, I blew it off at first. Wait a minute. You, you don't know nothing about the, bro, yeah. you've been there for like three fucking years. What's, what's not to know about the company? Yeah. Right. Because, and, and I just threw it off on that post. Then there was another post another driver made about asking about the tolls that we were allowed to run in Pennsylvania. Right. So I told him the answer and everything like that. Okay. And then he had enough nerve and everything to pretty much comment under what I had stated. Don't listen to anything he's talking about. He does not know anything he's talking about. He's nothing but an effing idiot. Mm -hmm. So... I'm like, okay, whatever. So I just, I, I flew it off and some other drivers like, dude, just let it be because he actually knows what he's talking about. And right. like I said, I said, I've been doing it 
for like almost three years here at Shrugal. I run that all the time, so I know what I'm talking about. Exactly. And then it just got, it, it kept escalating, escalating. Then he writes me on Facebook and states, how does it feel being F with? So he was intentionally doing it. And he proved it by sending me a message that he was doing it on purpose. In 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 the Facebook. So, Facebook Messenger, Facebook group, or your text? Yeah. Uh, um, um, uh, it was a message on Facebook, Facebook Messenger, right to me. And I think. And I didn't even reply back to him because I'm thinking, what? It's not even worth my time. I have more important things to worry about. And then, then he texted me the same thing. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to block them both. Don't have to worry about it or anything like that. And then he, then he blocks it where I can't comment or post anything in that group. Which I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna remove, remove myself. Okay. And then another driver, similar thing happened to him because he said the same thing about the whole admin thing. Okay. And then he writes, writes him and everything, and asks him why, why he's doing that and all that and like that. And he pretty much said, well, you're just like Brent. You, he doesn't know what he's talking about. You're both terrible human beings and stuff like that and all that. Okay, so in other then, in other in other words, he 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 pretty much turned into an asshole. So where did it where did it escalate? Uh, huh? He just he turned into another Brian Cannon. Yeah, I call, pretty much. Called yeah, it. he he turned into an asshole. So where did it? When did it start escalating to HR and you getting terminated? All right, well, after that one driver sent me that screenshot, I'm getting a call from HR and everything. Mm -hmm. And she had, and it was Courtney. Is it Courtney she Whitman? She to me. Court, she's still, the, she's still yeah. the HR manager there, Courtney Whitman? Yeah. Nice lady. Uh, well, she had stated to me that she's, well, <laughs> overall, Well, yeah. she, she was, <laughs> she was, she was kind of, she was nice to me. I mean, I... I never had a I, I never had a, 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 a issue with her. My issue was with you know who. You know what I'm saying? But with her personally, yeah. you know, like I said again, you know, the people there, you know, the people at Schwugel, I never had a personal issuance with. You know, Courtney Whitman, she was good. Tony Hilglit was good. Katie was good. My old school Matt Holmes was good. My issue was with yeah. uh with uh I forget ha Harmony no Haley. That was my first issue and then of course my second issue is with uh the safety director which his name won't be mentioned. But uh I know who you're talking about that's all I'm Yeah, say. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um but um but yeah, you know, overall, you know, overall the company you know, the, the overall, the company of people that was there was, you know, was pretty cool. But, but she called, right. she called, she called you over the phone or called you to come yeah. in to the office. She called me over the phone. Okay. And everything. And she, she said, she said that she spoke with, with this guy and she had the same conversation with me. She told us both that. These contact with each other. Don't call, text, anything. Okay. Just block each other. Don't don't talk about each other whatsoever. Okay. Fine and dandy. I did that. Okay. I did that. Okay. And everything. So why so, you get terminated? That was on. That was on Wednesday. Was that Wednesday? Wednesday. Okay. Oh no, that was Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday or Wednesday. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Uh, the very next day. I'm having drivers, mind you, getting a hold of me, asking me why he's going around spreading rumors and stuff about me on the Facebook page the very next day. Okay. And so I'm like, okay. So I call, it was, it was probably 10, 11 o'clock at night. So I called night dispatch and everything, asked him, um, told him what was going on, told him that. I've had multiple drivers send me stuff, tell me what's going on and everything and all that. After Courtney has stated to both of us to leave each other on, don't talk about each other or anything like that, he's continuing to do it and all that. 
And I go, well, you need to call HR Onyx. Can you at least call him? And let him know. No, you need to call HR Onyx. Okay, can you at least tell me where he is so maybe I can confront him and just say something? Nah, say nah Brent. Wrong. Uh-uh, bro. Uh-uh. No. No. That, that, oh. No, you don't. You, 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 you don't do that. You you don't do that. Plus, you was recorded too. So no, you no. Um, well, they twisted around. They, they they. What you? They twisted around. What really happened? What you, bruh? I know, man. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't even call night dispatch at all, man. I mean, you 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 my guy in there. Well, that's what Courtney told me to do. If there was more. Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. You that's you should. That's what Courtney told me to do. If there was any additional problems mm-mm, that night. Mm-mm, mm-mm. What you should have, what you should have did, bro. What you should have did, bro. You should have, uh, if they was testing you, fine. You know, save the tests. Uh, if they, you know, of course, when they call you, there's no way that you could probably call record. But if they was testing you, could have saved the tests. You could have said, you know, you could have waited until the morning and then called Courtney and and let her know directly. Because if you're going through a third party. You know your words is always going to be twisted from what you originally say. You you could say oh they were you they you were. you could say one two three and about time it get to her it'd be three two one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, so right. So it got back to her. So, boy, well, now and this is where it gets messed up, and uh, so. John, who is in charge of Reaper and Night Dispatch now, huh? And everything. Wait, John Uka? Next day, yeah, John Uka. Yeah, he's in charge of Night Dispatch and um, uh, Reaper, the Reaper Division. Wait, I just found how? Yeah, I just, I just found this out. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm kind of confused. He, he's in charge. Oh, he's in charge too because when he, he's in charge of Night Dispatch because when he. And Reefer? Yeah, that, well, that's what, according to what he was tell, telling me. Because I had said something, which because he was he was asking me what was going on and everything. We talked about the situation. Okay. And everything. Okay. And I'm like, so why are you calling me when you're ahead of Reefer? I am driving. Why isn't it Randy? Right. Who's in charge of drive? Okay. Okay. And that's when he told me that. Because he told me he was ready to fire me on the spot because Night D has stated to him that I said I was going to kill him. See, that's that's. I said no. Mm. That's where he got twisted around. That like you just stated. That's why that that's why I said you you should have just waited until Courtney. All right, so John Euchre, you you talked to him. Uh. Yeah. Then it got back to Courtney. And then, well, I had called, I also had called first thing that morning. And Courtney didn't answer. I left a voicemail for her. She never reached back, never reached back or anything. So I was in the Columbus yard on Friday and everything. Okay. I had something so up. Something was up. I had a feeling. Right. But I'm like, do you know what? Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Especially sure after what John has stated. But I'm like, okay. Because he had told me prior to me getting to Columbus Yard, he told that just do my job. Somebody told don't worry. Some some he he did he tell you to come to the Columbus Yard or they routed you to the Columbus no, Yard. Um, I got routed there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, yo. Well, I had a load that got delivered real close to Columbus, so I didn't think anything. Yeah. Else. They. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Your gut was telling you right, man. I mean, because if if they didn't have no reason to route you to Columbus from where you was at, I'm going to assume you was up in Groveport, right? Uh, yeah, that area, yeah. yeah. And so, because this is what I was told, is come to Columbus Yard, they'll have a load there for me in the morning. Right. It was late, at night, late in the evening, so... And it just happened before, so I really didn't think twice about it at first. But after that conversation with John, it made me think, okay. So well, let me let me let me let me let me let me interject. 
let, let me let me just interject and see if if I'm sort of right. So you dropped your load off in Groveport. They said they they had another load for you in the morning at the, at the yard. Come to the come to the Columbus yard. We'll have another load for you in the morning, which they didn't have another load for you. You get to the Columbus yard. You ready to go. Your clock reset. You ready to go. You call them up to say, hey, I'm ready to go. And then somebody says that you need to talk to somebody in the Columbus office before you can go. And am, am I? Not exactly. Oh, okay. 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 I, this, I was wrong. And this is what, this is what happened. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is what happened. That's 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 I, what happened. That that's them. what happened to somebody I know. I'm just saying. Go ahead. Well, this, this is the way it happened. Mm -hmm. I sent a message in in the morning. Actually, had anything. I'm ready to roll and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And my DM sends me a message saying, "Here shortly." Okay, no problem. I didn't think anything of it. Then my phone's ringing and it's Courtney from HR. So I'm like, "Oh, maybe she just returned my call. Maybe she's busy." Okay. She calls me and says, she calls me and tells me that because of the situation and everything, that we're just going to part ways. Over the phone. Wow. Wow. They, they, so they like, fried you know you. I wanted to go. Mm. I wanted to go off on her, but I'm like, do you want wow. It's not going to help the matters. So I'm like, so I just like, okay. Wow. It's going to be at least two hours before I'm out of here because I had to wait for my ride, I'm telling me to come get me mm. yeah. and everything. So my mom drove from up here all the way down there and everything. And Courtney was trying to tell me I had to be off the property in 45 minutes. Wow. Mm. And then the shop guy, a main guy, and then Jonathan, the safety guy out of Columbus, they both came over to the truck and everything and all that. And I, I told them the same thing. I just got to wait for them my mom to get there so I can get all my stuff and I'll be out of here. No problem. Okay. And they're like, okay, we don't care. I mean, well, Courtney told me I had 45 minutes. She's like, oh, we don't care about that. As long as you're not doing so no problems, we have no issue. I'm like, no, you won't have a problem. On me. Wow. So court, so Courtney Whitman of, uh, of, uh, J and R Shrugal, head, head of H and R just, just, just over the phone, just over the phone, let you go. Yeah. Like, you didn't get a chance to talk over the phone, you, which I you didn't get a chance to like you know go inside and 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 talk with the uh, the Columbus manager or had a Zoom call or a Skype call or or anything like that. No, man. Just, I try to I tried to talk with Courtney, explain my side of the story of what happened and everything, and her exact response was, "I don't care." Wow. After a, after all the act, see, again, that's why I'm going to tell you guys, man. Uh, you know, it, you know, it, and this is only my advice. Y'all, y'all could take it. Y'all could, y'all could take it. Do whatever y'all want with it. Y'all can throw it, however, but never, ever get comfortable with a company. You know, I mean, my man right here. You know, he had an issue with another driver had an issue with another driver and and that issue just pretty much messed up everything you know when when hr i i feel that when hr gets involved uh between a driver dispute is is it's never going to end well it, it never ends well that's why it's always you know if y'all two can't come together you know it's just best to y'all two just leave each other alone or whatever whatever you know, um, right. But, uh, but when HR gets involved, man, you know, so do you know if the other, do you, do you know if the other driver still drives for them or did he get the same consequences? Or? I don't know. I have no idea. I, all I know is he's been there 10 years. Wow. And you only been there for three. Hmm. Uh, yes, one, so of, one, of, his word over one, 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 one of one of the good ones, bust the dust. One of the good ones. 
sucks. So, man. So that's why I'm pretty much done for right now. I'm staying off the road for a while. Um, don't, don't let that jade you, man. I mean... Don't don't. Oh no, no, I have other yeah, jobs. Don't don't where let I'll still that, be using CDL yeah yeah yeah. Somebody. Don't don't let that change oh, you, man. I mean, there's there's better comp. There's this, there's this over OTR. I'm going. To. Yeah, there there's better companies out there than J and R Shore Group. Believe me, I I was with one of them. You know what I'm saying? So there's there's better companies out there. I mean, like I said, for oh, for know, what I is just, for this mindset right now, it's not right. right. So, but for what is worth, I mean, again. Uh, you know, if you're a new driver coming into the fold, or if you're, if you're, uh, if you, you know, if you're a new, uh, I, I say a new driver. I, for new drivers, I I would suggest J and R Schwugel. But for veteran drivers that got maybe two, three, four, five years on, under their belt, I I would not I I would not suggest J and R Schwugel. Uh. JNR Shrugel is more of a starter company now, especially with the acquisition of uh, Super Service. They're more of a starter company than anything else. Um, for the drivers that's that, oh, yeah, for the drivers that been there for years, yeah, that's still good for them. But as far as drivers that's thinking about getting a new home, or you're coming out of coming out of school. I hide like coming out of school. Yes. Veterans. No. Uh, cameras in the truck forward facing outward facing cameras. Uh, that P3 bullshit that you got to go over that you got to jump over hoops for way too many people that's micromanaging in different situations. Like when Matt Holmes was there, he was, uh, he was a dispatcher, but he was also in charge of equipment, in charge of this and in charge of that. That's why I was that's why I was surprised that when you said that John is in charge of night dispatch and uh, reefer division. Like, you know, it's it, it's it's too convolutism. Lubism? That's a word. Too convolutism. Whatever. It's too cumbersome there. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. If, 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 you know, during the day you're able to get a hold of your, you're able to get a hold of your driver manager during the day, no problem. But at night, it might, might be another problem. I never had a problem with the female, uh, night dispatcher. That's, I, I guess that's why I always ask for, her. you know what I'm saying? I, I never talk to the guy or the guy. Oh, yeah. I always ask for the girl. I think I know who you're talking about, but yeah. uh, she retired. Oh, she retired. Yeah, see, yeah, the good, the the good ones are leaving, man. We, the good ones are leaving. So, but as I said before, you know, if y'all feel that J and R Schwugel is a company to, the the look into, to rock out with, and all like that, and if you're a new driver, yeah, go ahead, you know, get your experience. But if you're a veteran driver, you know, with a couple of years up under your belt or five years up under your belt. J and R Shrugel, I feel would not be the one. Brett Stretch. Yes, sir. Well, I hope everything worked out for you, bro. Um oh, I yeah. hope every, I, I hope everything one day uh, time. you know, one day, yes, sir. One day at a time. Don't 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 let this you know, bother you, you know, you still got your CDLs. You still got a clean DAC report. You still could get, you know, you could you, you concentrate on getting a better job. Um, try, um, that's what I'm working try, on. um, Ohio. If you're not, where, where are you from? I live in Washington. Well, how far are you away from Wooster? Oh, that's like a hop skip away. I, I was about thirty minutes. Um, try looking in. Try looking in that direction, bro. I'm not gonna. You you'll pretty much get the company, but try looking up. I know where you're talking. Yeah, try about. try looking at try looking there, and um, try looking there. But I I will tell you this: Do you know how to drive a manual? Because it's ninety percent manual there. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I prefer. Manual. Okay. Okay. Well, if you could drive a manual, uh, yeah, 
you'll you'll start. I believe yeah. you'll start at about forty seven cent a mile. Uh, you know, you you was making your base at at J and R Schwugel without the P three bullshit was forty seven anyway. So I I think you they probably might start you a little bit more. But uh, you got three years. They they looking for two, but they uh. But oh, if yeah. you got, I, well, I've been at it since two thousand twelve. Yeah. So, so if you got, if you got uh, if you got three years up under your belt, uh, you you you'll probably get in there. Uh, good company, family owned, family o- operated. Um, you get paid mileage. You get paid. You you get paid for everything across the spectrum. Anything that you your detention, okay. your layover, you you get paid all of that with no question. You know, if you have some detention time, right. you get paid for it. If you touch the freight, you get paid for it. No questions asked. No 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 nothing. Great company. They the only bad thing about the about the company is their equipment is kind of old. They newest, I hate to say this, but their newest equipment is a 17. All right. They're late. They, they right. got their latest is like 16s, 15s, but that's, that's the only downside to that particular company is that they don't have like brand new equipment, even even their veteran driver that been there for almost 40 years, his equipment, he just, he's also a trainer, but his equipment is 18. You see what I'm saying? So okay, there, that, that, yeah, I don't yeah, care that's, about the whole, that's the only equipment. As long as it runs and right. keep breaking down. That's the only downside to the company is the equipment, but the company itself, it's a great company. Uh, it's a great company. All right. Good people there. Um, I'm not sure if 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 the recruiter that re that recruited me is still there. I'm not sure. But uh definitely give them a call. You you you'll pretty much get the idea of who I'm talking about. Uh to give them a Yeah, I, I have a pretty yeah, good idea who you're Yeah, about. give them a call uh and uh see what's up. And I, I think, um, yeah, I'll give him a call as a tomorrow. matter of fact, I, I, as a matter of fact, to be honest with you, I, I think you, you'll probably be happy a, a little bit more happy with them because they, they are lenient. They, they run regional. Um, if you tell the, if you tell the dispatcher, because the main, the main dispatcher that's in charge of the dispatch area would be the main one that be dispatch you if not. If not the other two, you got one, two, three, four. You got about four guys in there that's dispatching. One of them is the head guy that does uh that does the dispatcher. I mean dispatching. Um, they they run broker. They run ninety or I say about seventy five percent broker loads. So, um, they got they got you know they got some contracts with a few places, but. Is I'll say about seventy five percent to eighty percent broker loads, but you will still get paid. Right. And if you let's say I'm done with brokers, so it's no big yeah. Deal. So if you get if you get um like any loads like local loads, like let's say if it's like about a hundred miles or hundred miles or less, you'll get paid for the load. You'll get a like, let's say if the let's say if the load is like a thousand dollars, you'll get twenty percent of the load if it's a short run load. If it's a long run, if okay. it's a long run load, you get paid for the miles and everything. You also get uh you, you get okay. vacation after six months, you get uh you get vacation, you get uh all of the holidays all of them including more uh, including Martin Luther King Day you get all of the holidays uh J and R Schwugo only gave you uh Thanksgiving and Christmas here they'll give you 
They'll yeah. give you all the holidays, including Martin Luther King Day, and you can be off on those days. So let's say if, if Martin Luther King Day is on a Monday and you're coming into the weekend, that'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You'll be off Monday and still get paid for that Monday. Um, it's okay. home weekly too, by the way. I, I forgot to mention that. Uh, home weekly. So yeah, I thought so. So you 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 the the last load will bring you back to Ohio, no matter what. So give them a give them a call, man. Give them a try. Uh, and much success to you. No, I like that, man. Um, if if the recruiter's not there, ask for Joe. Um, ask for Joe, and uh. And yeah, yeah. Ask for Joe if 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 my recruiter's not there. So hopefully that works for you, man. Right. And uh stay up, man. Don't don't be jaded. Don't be jaded, all right? All right. All right, man. You take it easy and I'll call I'll I'll talk to you a little bit later. All right, you take all care. Right, man. Brett stretch, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Man, that was uh, that was kind of that was kind of dirty, man. I mean, the last few people I talked about uh, I talked to uh about J and R Shrugel, not a good light, man. Not a good light. Woo, man. Oh well, let me go in and end this, man. We we gotta get on up out of here. We gotta we got to get on up out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lockout Men Podcast. Thank you, Brett Stretch, for coming on, man. I appreciate it. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. This is the Lockout Men Podcast show. And if you guys want to come on, don't forget to hit me up in the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast Gmail. You know what I'm saying? Or come over to Instagram and hit me up over there. That's Lockout Men Instagram. 400 or, yeah, 400 people. I'm getting there, y'all. I'm getting there. I like how you guys support the channel. So if you want to support me and the channel, don't forget to hit me up in the cash app, which is in the link below. Or hit me up with some coffee, man. You know, hook a brother up. I am always thirsty. Thirsty. Yes, sir. Until the next time, I want to have somebody to play me out while we're while, while I'm telling you this. So on that note, I appreciate you guys listening. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. And until the next show, this is Lockout Man, and I'm gone. Y'all have a good one, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.